Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, it looks like the cruise ships may be returning to San Juan, well, as of yesterday. That's right, there was much celebration instead of protests and rioting that has been going on for nearly two weeks now in San Juan and escalating almost every day. We're actually thousands of Puerto Ricans who live in the U.S. have flown and traveled back to the city to take part in the protests that were going on against the governor of the country. And it looks like it's worked. The governor announced yesterday that he will resign his post as of August 2nd, a mere just over a week away from now. So this now begs the question for cruise ships, what happens next? Well, as of yesterday, Royal Caribbean and Carnival both returned to the dock. Not clear how many passengers actually get off because we all know that celebration can also turn into worse. Um, no, none of that seems to have been reported. I don't see any of that happening. But if you were on that cruise ship, you could understand people wanting to maybe stay on the ship just in case. Because we've seen people celebrating, you know, World Series victories or Stanley Cup victories and there's damage done and riot done in celebration as people overindulge in drinking and you know what I mean it just it gets out of hand it's a lot of the people who go to these things hope that the teams win or lose either way to purposely cause trouble you know what I mean it's not necessarily the people who are celebrating it's the people who go there to actually cause trouble and that's their entire intent is to do that so if you were on that cruise ship totally understand that if you didn't want to partake and that goes to now what happens now in the future because it's basically the same government the same government is going to be taking over uh it's just is it you know out with the old in with a different old <laughs> you know what i mean how will this change the policies not only that a lot of these emails that were released were back and forth between other ministers and other public officials and there are very few that have been left completely untainted by those uh, homophobic, racist, uh, basically just showing disdain for the basic population of the country. It just, uh, it, it's really not a good look for anybody, let alone a politician. And uh, he thought he could ride this wave to, you know, let it calm down and stay in power. And that's not exactly what's happening. Right now it's rumored that Wanda Vasquez will take over and people are starting to look at her now and seeing if they can see anything wrong with anything that she's come up. They're going through those emails and those releases to see if her name's in there and her names are responding to anything. So we'll find out if that's gonna be done or will there just have to be widespread change. A lot of people there are saying in the process that this isn't just about getting rid of the governor. This is about changing the government completely and the ideologies that they do. As we all know, a couple years ago, Puerto Rico was devastated by hurricane damage. Absolutely devastated. It still hasn't recovered. The infrastructure repair and all the bills have added up to a debt of over $70 billion for that small country. And then when the cruise ships stop going, it's estimated that they already lost about $3 million in revenue just from the short few ships that didn't go. So can you imagine all of a sudden that cruise lines decided, eh, it's not quite the safest place in the world to go. Then, uh, you know, so now they have to walk a fine line between protesting to get change and protesting that hurt their own economy. And that's a big thing. You got to keep that in mind as well. If the country's not making any money and getting farther and farther in debt, the changes that you're looking to do are harder and harder to get, right? And harder to harder to change infrastructure and change the benefits and make things better, repair the cities, uh, all this, the country's, you know, 
electric hydro areas there you know all the different things that were devastated and who knows what may bring this upcoming hurricane season so let's hope that this is kind of the end of it and everyone works together now to change what they want to change but there's no real need for protests or you know rioting anymore and hopefully this is a big message to the government that uh, they need to act differently or they're going to be ousted again so we'll, we'll keep an eye on this but in the meantime the good news for cruisers and uh, Puerto Rico people who live in Puerto Rico and San Juan alike is that cruise ships have started returning and they are monitoring the situation hoping they don't have to change itineraries again well, I hope you liked this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.